Uh, th- what about movie. 30 Seconds to Mars? You know, Jared Leto can, okay, co- can yeah, pop sorry. out. Okay, yeah, sorry. We do need to. He don't pop get out me do started it. on a member them because 30 it'll be Seconds a whole to Mars show. was actually pretty decent. Now, what he's doing to himself as an actor these days is fucking crazy. Yeah. Absolutely fucking crazy. So, on this Morbius set here, uh, he faked being disabled. Yes. Yeah. You just let it sit. Well. He faked being disabled because it was part of his method acting, Giorgio. He was Giorgio using has crutches some thoughts and, and we'll let him speak in a go second. Go ahead, Giorgio. In a second. Not oh, yet. Not right. yet. Not yet. All right. All right. It's not the Giorgio show. So he was, he was taking too long in between shots on the crutches. And so uh, the director had to go to him and ask if they could use a wheelchair to speed it up because they were going over time every single day so there's also there's parts stats. in the movie that he's not disabled but he said that he needs to feel that pain <laughs> all the time <laughs> because the character did. <laughs> at least in the memory right um so i i actually this happened to a friend of ours uh, Clayne Crawford, shoot a movie with uh, James Franco called The Great Raid, where he his feet were injured in that, and mm-hmm. in between every shot, they would have a crew member bandage his feet and carry him off set. And I go, how did everybody not lose their mind? It was a hundred and ten million dollar budget, and they put up with that bullshit for six months, and and that's yeah, and between every scene they would carry him back to the fucking trailer. Yeah, I think he needs to be stopped. Again, like I said, if he was amazing, we let it go, right? Daniel Day-Lewis. Daniel Day-Lewis would do some fucking crazy-ass shit. DDL, yeah. Yeah. uh, You know, completely alienate his family, cast members, everything. I mean, nobody really knows who he is. But he was amazing, and people kind of like Jared coming up, Jared mm-hmm. Leto coming up. He was in My So-Called Life. I think he peaked with Dallas Buyers Club, and I think it completely ruined him. Um, I think that's when he started the cult, Bob. Yeah. I think that's when he just completely lost his mind. That's when he, I think, went. That's the well, splice. He didn't, I don't, I think he had already, like, gone full artist, but that's when he was uh, vindicated. For Vindicated for it because he, yeah. yeah, Requiem. He did live on the streets of New York. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why not? He was eating out of dumpsters. You know that, right? Yeah. Um, That's real. Right. <laughs> and then he finally got and that was, an award. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. for it. Yeah. And then it's just. I mean, if you're going method for Marvel movies, okay. So he lived on the streets of New York for Requiem. He creepily gifted his Suicide Squad co-stars anal beads, condoms, and a mouse. Oh, to play the Joker. Yeah, I remember that. De- a dead mouse. Can you imagine in character, Jared Let after rap party. Yeah. yeah. Comes up to you. Hey, here you go. Oh, thanks, Jared. Fuck off. Blinding himself with special lenses while playing uh, Neander, whatever, in Blade Runner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the Necessary. living the living vampire Morbius is his latest ridiculous escapade. Yes, Georgia. What, yeah, it, what is it, your, it, it is, is your, your turn, turn Georgia. I want to go back to this Blade Runner thing that we just brought up. Okay. Because oh, okay. he's blind, yes, but he plugs in eyes that are robots that fly around the room. So he can see. Same with Stevie Wonder. And this is what I'm saying too, is like <laughs> How far, like, now we're getting into, like, you're not going far enough. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. now we're getting into territory of, like, um. He should have had his whole fucking eyeballs removed. Yeah. If you want to do that, let's pull them out. All right? 100%. And then hold them. Or, like, yeah. From Pan's lap. 100%. Yeah. Or, like. What'd you like say? Like, living on. Living I was, on I the said, street. I uh, said, Oz, Oz Real Monsters. It's a, I don't know if, that might have been too late to the game for you. It's a cartoon in my childhood. You know, I'm not a big cartoon guy. Never have been, actually. Yeah. 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 yeah I don't know anything about cartoons. Nothing. He speaks of this monster. Yeah. All okay. real monsters. All right. Guy. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. There you go. 
He oh, was, right. He, he All was right. pretty crazy, right? That I remember pretty... Mm -hmm. Really crazy. Yeah. He was really crazy. And the vampire, like, why are you not, do you know what I mean, sucking blood? Well, blood. I think, now that I think he, you know he I mean? was doing with the cult, with the sex cult. And, and he, here's the think, other fucked up thing. Here's the other fucked up thing about this, right? So he shows up, he's at the Grammys on Sunday night. And uh, Bob, see if you can pull up that picture. Just type in Jared Leto and uh, Olivia Rodrigo. Um, they take a picture together mm -hmm. and the whole internet starts saying, girl, watch out, girl, watch out. Mm. If everybody knows about this fucking sex cult that's going on, why is nobody doing anything about it? Well, we notoriously, right? Is that what he wore? Is he wearing a blouse? Look at that. That's not a blouse. Zoom in. Zoom into that, Bob. By the way, his best look. By the way, his most masculine look he's ever done. <laughs> That's lace. He's a good looking I know, man. but it's like He's the most. He's fucking fifty one, and he, he looks, looks that good. The it's crazy. Most masculine there he ever has. Um, He's almost three times her age. Well, yeah, but Hol Hollywood is not super great <laughs> with open se secrets, and no one really <laughs> wants to be the first one, right? It's so, totally true. Everybody knew about Weinstein and all that exactly. shit. Exactly. But everybody was like. Ah! Am I, am I going to get blacklisted? Do in I need Hollywood to? and with these things, you always want to be the second girl to come out. Yeah. yeah. Also, you know, who have we really thrown in jail or gotten in trouble but the olds and the uggos? Yeah, exactly. Like, we wait till we don't need them anymore, and then we cancel them and throw them in jail, right? right? Like, who's, who, who was like, no, not Bill Cosby in 2016? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hannibal Oh, Burris. he had so much, so many projects in the works. Um, even Will Smith, it's like he's gonna go to Dubai for a little bit. He's gonna be fine. We still need him. You know, there, I, um, by the way, I heard a, I heard an interesting story about him um, with his his reps and this whole canceling in Hollywood and shit. Apparently, they had a, a CAA had a retreat over the weekend, and they were trying to decide. It was already scheduled anyway, so it's not like they did it because of Will Smith. But the three heads of of CAA got together, and they were like. Do we just drop this motherfucker? Because there, every instance that something like this has gone on, Mel Gibson, everything else. Sure. The agency has always dropped the client. No ifs, ands, or buts. And uh, apparently, it was like a heated argument with one of the one of the presidents was like, "Let's nuke this motherfucker." Um. Yeah, I'm sure they had a discussion about it, but they're not going to. No, they didn't. Yeah. They didn't. They're not going to. And then Jared Leto, it needs, we need to be, Bob is right, we need to be kind of done with them already. And it needs to be like, you know, glaringly obvious. Dude, but he invited but her basically over. done already. Yeah. He, I, I'm just looking at this like he invited her over. Now, granted, she's of age. Right. Yeah. So barely. Barely, but barely. she is legal. Sure. She's legal. Uh, sure. But yeah, he was definitely. He was like, come to my mansion. For sure. <laughs> come to and come And the first and time, me. nothing happens. He's very good. Yeah. The first time, it's just to hang. Do you know what I mean? There's other people there. Have you it's been there? It's fun. It, yeah. You're speaking as if you've been there yeah, before. Yeah, he's very, he's very good. I did not, did not get invited back. <laughs> he doesn't like a wino mom drunk, apparently, but <laughs> no. But he does, and then he kind of... I hate to say groom, but he will, you know, it'll be a couple times and then he'll make it their choice, right? He'll make them think it was their decision. Just whatever. <laughs> come out into the, come there. into the light. Step yeah, yeah, into yeah, the yeah, light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure you want this? Because yeah. like, like, we don't know. Yeah, yeah. No. Are you brave And then enough? kind of like he plays the, he does the game, like the book, the game a little bit. He has other girls there. Sure. But he's like more... You know, older girls. Make them feel like, less than, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. Makes them feel less than. Makes it, no, 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 no. <laughs> and then they keep trying to come back, and it's there. So he's good at it to the point where it's not going to come out uh -huh. uh, and, until we're, we're done with him. But, um, <laughs> yeah, the... so you're saying he probably sucks blood in the cult, but I'm like, okay, you're playing a... A uh, vampire, you want to get everything fucking right. Yeah. Have the limp, suck blood, like really try and the suck blood, people's here's the thing. blood. The blood, like, you, the you blood have sucking really... thing? Yeah, he's already done that. So I, I like, uh, okay. we, we know that. Okay. It's the limping around on set in a wheelchair and all that shit. In today's world, just faking being disabled. 
really, it really isn't the thing anymore. And I think the other thing is like I've been the only sets that I've been on are quite low budget, and that like you really don't, which you really can't. You don't have time to Michael Morbius's life and his backstory. Oh, right, so, like, right. This is part Very of the parallel. Marvel Cinematic Universe. I don't know if you guys know this. No, Morbius isn't uh, MCU. Or, or DC, sorry. No, it's, it's, it's Marvel, but it's not in the MCU. Okay. Sony, it's like Venom. Okay, so like, he does come into contact with Spider-Man yeah, yeah, at yeah. some point. But this has been Dork Patrol with <laughs> yeah. Bob and Giorgio. <laughs> On page 36 <laughs> of the comic book of Morbius. The- no, no, but basically he has a blood disease and he becomes like a cripple. And I think based... Jim okay. Was playing that process of when he's becoming like degenerative and can't move. Okay. And he's super smart, and him and his best friend try to cure it with this bat DNA and electroshock Ugh, therapy. Okay, then he really needs to get that shit. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, if you shocked. are going to go and you're going to hold up production because you're limping to the bathroom, yeah. I need electroshock th- therapy, really. I need bat DNA. Like, it really needs, that's what I'm saying. Like, you can't do some stuff and not others. Right? Oh, I'm Bat faking DNA inside James. <laughs> no, no, like, James. I'm faking the limp. Oh, cool. Like it's so hard. Just because he really got AIDS for so Dallas you Buyers can, Club. So like, you need the pain of the limp, but you can fake bat DNA in you yeah, and who's like to say Jared Leto didn't start COVID. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know that. 